What's up guys? Ty from Matt Kite and we're here to review the Duotone Gambler. I actually learned how to kite on this board. Even though, you know, most people wouldn't look at it as a beginner board with it being pretty much strictly marketed as a park board, but I've loved it for every condition of riding. Honestly, I get soft landings out of it. It still has a centered channel, which gives you that extra grip to stay upwind, which was very handy learning. And I actually ride the 148, which, you know, being a snowboarder, just crossing over to the kite, it kind of connected a lot of things for me, having that extra length and board and that whole, the length of the board, I mean, having that, you know, compared to a 136 or 139, which I see a lot of people riding, it's a completely different feel. You can turn it a lot more and got a lot more weight on your feet in some aspects, but I like that. So finding this bigger board has really like made the transition from snowboarding to kiteboarding a lot easier. It really connected a lot of dots for me. I wanted to get in the park riding side of kiteboarding and so it's really a no-brainer to go with an appropriate size big board, you know, that you'd see a wakeboarder or even a snowboarder use you, you know, kind of that around the same size, the 150, 148 zone. And as well, coming into the sport as a new rider, having that bigger board just helped a lot with learning and some of the aspects of that, giving you a little more flow on the water and getting upwind, staying upwind, you know, planing out at first, you know, makes it a lot easier just with more board under your feet to stay on top of the water. And the Gambler is equipped with a grind base as well, which means it's just a durable bottom. You don't have to worry about, you know, scratching it or, you know, grinding it on made to grind on things so yeah grinding on rocks or anything you don't have to worry about that so for me that's been great because I'm extremely harsh on gear and I like to slide on things and just kind of bang that thing around and it still holds up it's been awesome so yeah you know I thought about going with something like the team series or one of their more higher end freestyle dedicated boards but even just the base factor where if you're riding on something rough, you're probably gonna chew up the bottom of one of those boards a lot easier than the Gambler, which for me, that was a deciding factor right there. So yeah, I'm not one of their normal guys that does reviews here, but just wanted to get started on these and talk to you guys about the Gambler and why I love it. If you liked the video, found it helpful, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, peace.